guys, I'm Sid, but I'm also Hasana. I'm wearing my mother's shirt, and I'm Uswa. We're, We're Hasana, Hasana, and you're, you're watching, watching our YouTube channel. channel. And today is a little DIY episode. DIY. We're bringing DIY. you back to, I don't know, YouTube circa 2015. <laughs> circa it's giving war DIY, you know what I mean? Are we making slime? No. no. But we're making some things that we wanted, but we thought it would be better if we make it our selves. Mmm, that goes deep. But before we do that, <laughs> we have to go get some supplies. So let's go. Supplies. The fit goes crazy. Oh, this little thing? Yeah, I mean, it's just a little something. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, we're going to the thrift store first to pick up some ballet flats to recreate the Mimi ballet flats. Because, you know, Mimi's kind of expensive. I don't got that guy's money. Well, we're going to make it for like, what, $30 or less? We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. And then later on, we're going to go to um, the fashion district. Is that what it's called? Fabric district? Yeah. In Manhattan. Cause there's this place that sells trimming. <laughs> there's this place that sells trimmings that's really close to how Miu Miu makes their ballet flats. Mm -hmm. So that's where we head in. Yep. What were you gonna say before? Oh yeah, these shoes. Yeah, I saw those Sandy Lang. Um, Sandy, Sandy Lang X um, Solomon collab. Yeah, these kind of look like them, and I'm about to buy like a little flower for that at the top. Sandy Lang do. Do. Sandy Lang do. You love the do. Do. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we just um, did a little gold open casting thing on um, TikTok. Go no, watch that joint, Loki. I'll put it here. I'll put it here. Ah. Hello, I'm Uswa Sabri. I'm Hasana Sabri, and this is for the open casting. We, we did that. Are we models? I'm gonna say yes. We might be. We might be. Bo, call me. Oh, okay, what's up? What's up? Going straight to the shoe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for some ballet flats. Those are kind of interesting. Parade. Freaking love parade. Facts. I have two shoes from that. Oh, fire. Them uncle jeans? The uncle jeans kind of do go hard with some socks. A pleated skirt. No price. Does that mean it's free? <laughs> It's nine. Hey, those are nice. They look, they look like um real leather. I ain't got no price. Probably asked the front desk. What size are they though? A nine. Oh. Is it men's? Oh, women's. Oh, these are all women's shoes, so it could fit. Tap, 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 How do they feel? They kind of look fire with the fit. Ain't they a little big? Oh. They might be nice. Oh yeah, and we are eight. Yeah, but they were cool. We didn't see anything in the thrift store, so we're gonna head to Target. I just looked it up, and they do have some ballet flats for twenty dollars. So sounded good to me. We just got the black uh, ballet flats. We're about to pay for those. We couldn't find a nine and a half, but we got a ten, so it fits. It fits pretty good as long as you wear like thicker socks, you know. And then. Um, you know, so and now we're gonna go to uh, the fashion, the fashion district. We're going here. Um, to dang, <laughs> let's see, get some trimmings to see how we're gonna spice this joint up. Spice it up. You taking a train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
to the police. The NYPD located. We found the place. It's called Pacific Trimming. Hey, this is where I was born. What? That's crazy. All right, we found it, y'all. So get yourself some of this trimming, whatever you really want. They got like ones with um, you have silver in it. more rhinestones. They got more of a larger inch. These have little, um, what do you call these, piercings. Get what you need. Get what you want. Whoa. Yo, they playing my song. Hold up. Body at ya? Much lace and ribbon and lace and ribbon and lace and ribbon. <laughs> Y'all, we got the bag. Secure the bag. Everything's the in the shoes. bag. We got the, we got the buckles. We got, got the, the ribbon. string that we're gonna put it on. When we come back home. These ones about to be one of kind. Oh, we got glue just in case we don't want to sew it. So that's also another option. We can have like a sewing machine or something. It's also a little safer. <laughs> Okay, now we're headed back home. We're going back, oh, damn. We're going back home on the train. We'll see you guys back home. We're going to some of these joints. Yep. I just noticed we didn't show anybody a fit. That's true, when the fit goes kind of crazy. The inspo was right here. Bing. Um, I have this white dress that I wore two E's ago. Mm -hmm. I just thrifted this shirt a Very while nice. ago. Short sleeve. Wear navy blue long sleeve inside. Mm -hmm. uh, Hello Kitty hat, which was the main part of the Very show. Very cute. That's where the whole joint surrounded. I got this from Five Below Five Dollars. <laughs> uh, glasses, Alex Press. Yep. Um, boxing boots, title. Title. Me from my mother. Bag. <laughs> Bag. Kipling. Come on now. Keys from my mother. Hook, Home Depot. Wow. You don't ever got it like this. Huh? You don't call for a savior? Why are you tearing? <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to Hustle's Craft Corner. Hustle's Crafting 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 corner. I said, Hustle's Crafting Corner. Uh, uh, okay. Hustle's Crafting Corner. I, I, I think they got it. First, we're gonna teach you guys how to make the Sandy Ling Rose. If you've seen it everywhere, you've seen it all. She puts them on her skirts, she puts them on her dresses, she makes little hair ties. Mm -hmm. um, and we recreated it for her Eve fit. Eve. Eve feet. Our Eve feet. <laughs> and our Eve fit. Pictures will be right here. That was our brother sharpening a pencil. <laughs> There's two different versions. So I did mine a little closer to the way she has it on her dresses, and Hasana did like a more realistic flower. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna show you both, and you can pick and choose whatever you like, or mix them, Do whatever you want. <coughs> Let's I'm get started. And here's what you'll need. A corsage, green ribbon, felt, glue sticks, a hot glue gun, tweezers, scissors, a lighter, and a ruler. So I bought this uh, corsage off of, off of uh, Amazon because I thought it was closer to what she has as her inspo. And we're gonna take all this other crap off and just use the rose. So just look up corsage on Amazon or Etsy or Amazon or Etsy. Or and we're gonna start off by ripping this part off. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I just take ribbit, 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 ribbit. It's black, then it's pink, red, and down. I hold one with the rose and I hold the other one and I just kind of rip. And I just kind of rip. It's gonna take a little elbow grease. I don't really measure it. I just kind of look at how much I need. So should I measure it? For you guys, I will. Okay, six and a half. And then you just cut. So once you have this, right, this little piece, yep, you are going to want to fold it in half. Wow! And <laughs> hold one side. 
Alright, fold in half evenly. And you're gonna cut it in half. Bow, 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 bow. Mm -hmm. Two even sides. And you see how it's fraying? We're gonna burn it. Oh. Burn it all! Okay. Kids, don't do this by yourself. If you're a child, get your parents' permission and assistance. And if you're incapable of doing this by yourself, still get some Parents' help, help and assistance. You just want to char the edges a little bit. Just get them just right. And it's okay. <laughs> you just want a little happy mistake. Yep, just a little happy mistake. Mm-hmm. And we'll be back once I finish uh, burning the edges of all these on your side. And you're just going to want to position it. Anyone could, you know. Like, that's pretty good. So we're going to take our hot glue gun. Six, I don't know. Please excuse my reach. Please excuse my reach. <laughs> please excuse my reach. We are going. Also, if you're a child, ask please for go parental guidance. Ask for parental help. And if you're incapable of using hot things, ask for someone older to help you. So I'm just going to put some hot glue here. And I'm <laughs> yo, <that's enough. laughs> and I'm gonna glue it down. I like to glue one side first, mm -hmm. and, is and, there any and particular check it. Reason why? Because once you glue one side, you can see how. Oh my God, you could you could see how like you want the top to be like that, so uh -huh. it's like a little three D thing. Do you oh. just want it to be like this? What do you want it to be like this or that? But I usually what do you want it to be like today. <laughs> I usually like to show a little bit of the back, so I'm oh, probably gonna do like that. I know. Not a lot of people are like me. Yeah. Got nothing like me. What am I? What's this? What am I? What am I? Toggle a little bit and stick it. Nice. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Yep. Uh, you want to secure them on the side here so they're not just flapping. Like, I need to add a little glue here. Yeah, exactly like that. And a little glue here and just, you know, hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it looks like that. You know, the audio from this one is great. Crazy. Um, so now we're going to make sure that this back looks pretty. So we're going to get a piece of, I don't even know what you call this, gauze-looking... Gauze looking felt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's felt. You're right. It's Good a job. it's a hardier felt. Yeah. Hardy. So you're gonna cut a little, like a little square, and turn that square into a circle and put it right and glue it right on top of that. So I'm just gonna cut. It does not have to be perfect by any means. You guys like this in real time uh, cameraman work going on? In yeah. Hassan's going crazy, and you just wanna like once you stop cutting, like this looks like an oval right now, but it don't matter. And I'm probably gonna make it a little bit smaller because I don't want the back. To Yo, show. that pee you just said blew my whole face away. And I probably want to. <laughs> <laughs> we got trumpet the trumpy over here. <laughs> trumpet the trumpy, trumpy is crazy. I think that was in Bob the Builder. Sorry if my hands look a little ashy. I've been working hard. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're just gonna glue that on top so that this part is for if you wanna add like a little rubber band on the back, but because or I work Yeah, because I wear a Kimar, yeah. I usually Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> because I wear a Kimar, I just like to pin it because I just think it'll be easier to wear. This hot glue is old as heck. That's why it's yellow. <laughs> and then just glue it on so that when you stick the pin on it, you're not sticking it through the ribbon, you're sticking it through this. And then bada boom, bada bing. We got a Sandy Leo's ring. Nah, Ooh. it's a rose. <laughs> what do you guys think? Would you wear it? And so, like, sometimes when I wear, like, my two hoops, I'm going to, like, pin it there. Mm. And it helps if you make two so that you have two on each side. You can put it on, like, your dress, like I did for Eid. You can put this on your skirt. You can put this anywhere. You can make it a brooch. Sandy Leo ain't anything. Sandy Leo ain't anything. Sandy Leo ain't anything. Mm -mm. Yep. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report.
Okay, guys, so this is the one that takes 24 hours, so sit yeah. tight. Hasana was on the floor making the that day before for eating. 12 But hours. you know, the best idea is come at night, so that's true. Here's what you'll need. Red and green ribbon, red thread with needle, glue sticks and a glue gun, scissors, stick pins, four and a half inch long card, and a ruler. Passing quiet, it's, um, it's ringing. I didn't make this up on my own. I got this idea from um, Pinterest. So they took, I'll take it uh, down below. they took a card and they measured it, like the amount they needed. But um, I needed a little longer just because my ribbon is like two inches, two inches thick. Um, they use a thinner inch, but um, that's okay. A thinner inch? A thinner ribbon. Don't do that. You just want a thing that's like four and a half? Uh, yes. Yeah, four and a half inches long. And we're gonna need like, if if I remember correctly, like 13 of these. So, yeah. Start at the top. And then I just kind of... So that would be one. The back would be two. This would be three. That would be four, and so on and so forth. And then after that, you just cut it in the middle. So I'll show you guys that later. Okay, so after you have them all lined up, you're gonna cut off the excess ribbon. And then, who's that? I don't know, Mr. Ribbon. You just go in the middle and just chop that joint up. You know what I'm saying? Just chop it up. And then go to the other side. Now, you have all the pieces you need. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I take the little square I have. I fold it down so that it creates like this triangle at the end. And I do that for both sides. But before I do that, I just want a little... I need to let that do it, you know what I'm saying? Just to keep it in place. Okay, and then you bring this part. It doesn't matter if it's like frayed and stuff. That'll be okay. I just made that joint worse. <laughs> Doesn't matter. And then you bring this side to the middle. Sorry if I'm eating. Um, and then you just run that through the needle. And you do that for both sides. Put it down till it goes down evenly. And then you half seize that joint. Looks like a little bolero. This? Yeah, like, that's the sleeves. Honestly, if you wanted to, you can just run the needle through both of them at one time. It's not perfect, guys, but... It'll get the job done. Because at the end, we just sew it all together anyways. Once you're at the end, you choppy choppy, you do a little knot. And then you're gonna make like, I think 13 of these. What are you doing? Huh? I thought you were hand sewing all the this petals. This is hand sewing, Painstakingly this is with your hands. <laughs> guys, if you don't wanna hand sew it, you can do it with a machine. I just happen to have a machine. So I'm gonna do it like this. Don't get angry, guys. You lied to the viewers. Don't. Don't, don't be cry sad that it happened. <laughs> no! Don't cry that it. No, don't cry that it's over. Be happy it happened. Be cry that it happened. No, it's not cry that it happened. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so you can either hot glue them and like this. And like that. It's just a little harder for me to sew them afterwards. So we're just going to... I'm going to show you. Are you going to hand sew them? Whoa. Oh, probably not. <laughs> but, uh... I'll show you guys how to hand sew them. So we're just gonna... I don't know why I made this drink so long. <laughs> drink's really awkward. I actually sewed that on. You gotta do a little knot. I'm just doing it so this joint sticks. That's really it. Oh? So where all the folds are, you want that on the outside of the rows, not on the inside. Cause then it creates like this little nice, um, little nice so my method of madness is you start from the inside so it looks like this because you want the folds on the outside and then you bring this like right dead in the middle like that so like i just folded that joint like a little square 
So then this could be like the little metal, the little middle part of the rose. So now I'm gonna just start sewing. There's no sewing in yours. <laughs> I know. So then now that stays, and then we're just gonna keep building upon the rose. See how it's starting to nice. And then move back. Thank you. <laughs> and then, you know, you go through a few passes, whatever makes you feel secure in your heart. Then you add another little sucker. And you could place them however you want, but, you know, this is my placement. Nice. And then you just keep going. And going, and going, and going. Y'all see the vision, y'all see the vision, y'all see the vision. Oh, Sandy uh, Liang, watch out <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm going to take your job. <laughs> I'm going to take your job. Oh. And yeah, you just keep repeating this. So you're going to, um, dull side. Hmm? You want the dull side to show. Oh, I was like, what's dull side? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, sorry. Right, you're going to want the shiny part to show, and then you're going to put it in half. This piece is about, like, seven inches. And when you... And we need uh, two of those seven inches pieces. So shiny part that you want to show up. And then we're going to slice that. I mean, sorry. We're going <laughs> to fold it. We're going to fold it in half. And then you can either hot glue this down. So on the inside. Or you can hand sew it down. I'm going to go hit the sewing machine real quick. And then I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so now that I just sewed on each end, we're just going to bring it inside out. So now it looks like this. Leaves. And then, honestly, I think I'm going to hot glue this, <laughs> this on this side. <laughs> oh, shoot. We're going to have the little rose in the middle. And that's how it's going to turn out. Very cute. Nice. Very cute, very cute, very cute. Um, But yeah, I'm definitely going to like hot glue it in the back. But I just want to see how I want it. And then just put your little leaf right there. Just hold it down. Don't burn yourself. Hold it down. And then this little flap. I want it to be down, so. And on the other side, you have a little leaf. Nice. So you can either leave it with one. One is pretty cute also. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna do this one with two, so I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so I attached it on both on both ends, and now it looks like this. It's nice. a little Sandy Lee Yang flower. Much bigger than hers, but I honestly like it more prominent. And these are the two examples of things you can make. Look. I usually just attach mine with a, um, how you say, uh, stick pin, but like put it on the side, put it in the yeah. middle, put it like on the side. Yep. In and the then middle. this is how we did it on our, no, I'm not going anywhere. Oh. <laughs> we did it in, I'm pretty sure you already showed it, but yeah. these are examples of our Eid fits. <laughs> I took like a, um, a tank top, I thrifted, and then I had like a skirt that I made to a, like a bubble skirt, place that anywhere. But honestly, From Forever 21. Anywhere you want. Yep. Spending Lee Yang your whole life. <laughs> Moving on to the next DIY, we are gonna do Mimi Flats. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Here's what you'll need. Ballet flats, buckles, ribbon, leather glue, a fabric pencil, scissors, clamps, a measuring tape, tweezers, popsicle sticks, and a seam ripper. We were inspired by this uh, TikTok video. Basically, she just kind of glued everything and we got some leather glue. So we're just going to get started. We are going to start probably with the buckles, but we have to remove this bottom row of grommets so because right um, we want this to stick inside the shoe correctly. So we're just going to start removing them joints. I already did it to one ahead of time. So that's what it's going to look like. And we're just gonna continue doing that. Okay, so we're gonna slice the red part off to where the shoe's gonna be. Yeah, cause like this part just kind of comes off. So we'll be back when that comes off. And we're gonna do that to all of them. Okay, so now we're gonna glue these buckles on the actual shoe. Um, I watched a little video and it was saying like to put the glue on both places. So on the buckle and on the shoe and then put it together and I seem to like clamp it down. I don't know how it might mess it up. So I guess we'll they say to put pressure on it, so pressure. I guess we'll clamp it down for like 20, 30 seconds. So right now 
we are trying to measure out how we want the little um, strap to be. So Usa just put her foot in. And we're, <coughs> and we're trying to measure out where we want. I'm sorry, but like, Hamdila. Mm -hmm. I love Yadikulahu. I love the way, like with a sock and this shoe yeah. on. Looks nice. I think all together, the shoe was 20, the strap, each strap was $4. So already it's $28. And then for a yard of that string, it was like $4. Okay, so what we ended up doing was we put um, the buckles in the position we wanted. And then we measured it from the from like right here to where the buckle was. So from here to here is about 2 inches. And then from here to here is like 3.1 inches. So then we have the correct measurements for the other shoe. Put one like a line here. Yeah. I'm scared, guys. I don't know what well, I'm doing. You can only try our best. These are how the shoes are looking. <coughs> All the adhesive is on it. Low key, I'm not gonna lie, with these little paper clips. Kind of wavy. It's giving Virgil Abloh, it's giving off white if he made ballet flats. So we have to let these dry overnight so that they get real stuck on there forever. And then we'll be back and install the ribbon that we have, and then we'll be done. And then we'll look just like Sandy the Yang model. No, Mew Mew. I was talking about with the flowers. Oh. Cause she uh, Sandy also makes belly flats. And Mew Mew model. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the video that I saw, the girl just kind of wrapped the string around her foot to mimic the way she would want it. Mimic. Um, In the shoe. And I'm starting yeah. at the end this. so that I have all this other stuff to and this. Uh, and go this. by. And then you just do a little bow. And if you want it higher or lower, just do it the yeah. way that you would want. So, and also, like, the thing at the bottom is also going to give you more leeway. Yeah. And, oh! <laughs> and then, basically, after you, you see how much you want in, then you cut it here, and then you cut this in half. Mm -hmm. And then it'll be on both sides. So you just go here, and you go here, and then you're done. Look at this. We did that, bro. Bro. Bro! <laughs> it came out really well. Just yeah, like really, really like it. You got the buckles in the front. They ain't going nowhere. Leather glue is really strong. Yeah. And again, you can honestly sew it on too. That's what some people do. Mm -hmm. Some people also sew on the, the ribbon also. Do it your way. Do it your own way. But yeah, really, really nice. So guys, what did you think of our DIYs? What did you think of ballet flies? How did it turn out? I think it turned new out really good. Doops, doops, doops. Stanley doops, doops, doops. Um, we hope to do some more of these in the future because we love making things with our hands. Mm, we'll make this into like a series. Making it into a series. If you guys have any, any like suggestions, type down below. I want yeah, you to make. Want me I want you to, to make Mumu flowers. Realistically, um, like, what do you guys want us to, <laughs> to yeah. remake? There's only so much we can do, but yeah. we can try. We're, We're trying to be on that 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 uh, Mia Maple level. Mia, <laughs> I remember when we thought it was Maya Maples. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy. Why. Anyway, um, we hope you enjoyed everything. Please make sure to like, comment. Oh, before I say anything, I'm wearing two different earrings on purpose. You probably thought it was a mistake. It's not. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And ring that post notification bell. And we'll see you guys in the next one. And we'll see you guys in the next one. And we'll see you guys. In the next one. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, ring, 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 ring that post notification bell.